hello welcome back to the channel so today I am showing you how I did a DIY inspired by this mirror now this mirror runs all over the internet especially Instagram it is the Hollywood Glow, Glow Pro vanity mirror and they range from 200 to over a thousand dollars well if you want to see how I made my mirror my way inspired by this mirror then stay tuned and I'm going to show you how to do it for a fraction of the cost so the supplies I used for the first step was some white spray paint, um, some gloves, and some sandpaper. And I did not use newspaper. I used some um, different paper, but I suggest newspaper and some tape. So the first thing I'm going to do is cover the mirror. You can use whatever you want, newspaper here as you see. I just use some old wrapping paper, um, Christmas paper. So just make sure you cover the mirror pretty um, tight and then use some tape to get it down. I kind of regret using this paper because it was slipping all over the place and just really getting on my nerves. But I did not have any newspaper and I really want to get this project done. So once I got the newspaper down, I went ahead and gave it a quick sand. And after I sanded and wiped it down, I went ahead and used my spray paint. Now the spray paint that I used was Rust-Oleum. And I love this spray paint because of the nozzle. It is so um, easy to spray and it sprays very evenly. So I did use that and I think um, that came out really good. Now when I had to get on the inside and the corners, I did make sure that I held the paper down because like I said, I use this wrapping paper so y'all Please get you some newspaper. Do not use this wrapping paper because it was slipping all over the place. So I did get a little bit of paint on the mirror and I just used acetone to get that off. So these are the lights that I got from Amazon and I ended up getting the 14 strand lights. I went ahead and got the one that had the most on it because I didn't know how many of them I was going to use and I ended up using 12 of the lights. I did not use all 14 and there was a strategic reason for that. I wanted um, it to be longer and to have an under light so I'll show you that in another video but what I did was I measured the length of all the sides and I decided how many lights I wanted to put and then I divided by that many lights and it kind of told me where I should um, put them and if I'm not mistaken I think each of mine was seven inches apart or something like that so I'd have to leave that in the description box and I did that on all the way around the mirror I used the um, tape that came on the back of the mirror and I pulled that off and that's what I fixed it to I didn't worry about the wire at the time I just used the bulbs because I wanted them to be equally spaced this was slightly challenging um, I probably should have come up with another way to do this but like I was so annoyed with these um, wires at first and I'm just showing you guys that I was struggling with the wires and I was just like uh these wires are getting on my nerve so I just like I said end up resulting to not caring about the wires and just measuring and dividing by how many bulbs I wanted on each side so this was the first look that I came up with and um, after I got the light situated the way I wanted them I did not like those wires so I ended up trying to come up with a design to affix them to the sides of the mirror with clear tape and it looked okay I just thought it was kind of tacky looking to me and I thought that I could probably do something better so I brainstormed for a day or so maybe a little longer and I came up with the next design So the things that I end up using for, for this next step was the glue gun and I did not use the E6000 and I did not use the gloves. I did have to use scissors and I ended up getting this diamond wrap from Dollar Tree. I ended up getting three of those and I had some scissors and some tape. So the first thing that I did was pretty much just measure from here 
to here to see where I wanted to cut the diamond wrap on the outside. And then I did the same thing along the um, edge down there. So after I measured the diamond wrap out, what I did was use tape to put the wires down onto the mirror that secured it down flat enough. And then I went along the sides and I used hot glue to put down the diamond wrap. And then I used hot glue on the inside to put the diamond wrap in between each light bulb. This process wasn't too bad to do. The only thing is you have to make sure that you use good um, glue sticks. I had some glue sticks that I had got from like Dollar Tree and those seem to be a little bit cloudy. And I had some glue sticks that I ended up picking up from Michaels that seemed better. And you don't see it that much when you put it on there, but um, sometimes the glue will come through because the diamond wrap is thin. So when it comes through, it makes it diamonds look cloudy and to fix that you just need to rub your fingers over it once the glue dries and then it'll just peel off if you do happen to have the Dollar Tree glue at home already and you don't want to spend the extra coins on getting the glue from Michaels or another place that may be clearer. So this is the final look for this mirror and as you can see it came out pretty good. I did get the detailing on the side here and then I put it on the inside. Um, like I said, I just didn't like the wires like coming on the outside of it. I'm pretty sure at some point I'll upgrade it, but this is just a quick um, DIY of what you can do with the stuff that you already have at your house. You can just um, take a mirror of any size and get your lights. And if you don't really need the bling, I use the bling as I mentioned because I just didn't like the um, cords and I just didn't know what to do with them. The reason I put the light on the mirror is because I wanted them to reflect off the mirror. I could have easily put them on the outside on the white part of the mirror and um, then the cord would have been able to just attach to the back and you probably wouldn't have seen it. But I wasn't sure it would give me that reflection light like you get from, um, you know, from the mirror and the, the light coming off of the mirror. So I really like it. I think it came out good. And if you are interested in seeing how I put this desk together, um, I am going to upload a video about that and um you know give you guys all the information on how to also do your desk so this will complete the diy on the mirror um all the information for all the things i use will be in the description box below do not forget to subscribe to the channel and if you have subscribed to the channel already thank you so much i will see you ladies in my next video and if you decide to share this video please tag me in it my name is b Ramar. thank you ladies so much bye